discuss about thermodynamic relations. So before going for the thermodynamic relations, we have to know first of all the basic gas laws. So from those basic gas laws, we are going to derive those thermodynamic relations. So the three basic laws are Boyle's law, Charles law, and third one Gay-Lussac law. So these laws are we are studied in the basic standards. Nothing but we study in your intermediate as well as in the physics also. From these three basic laws, we are going to derive the basic thermodynamic properties. So first of all, coming to Boyle's law, what does the Boyle's law states? The Boyle's law states that a constant temperature pressure is inversely proportional to volume. That means, so मानेके Boyle's law जब तुमने constant temperature, so मानेके total thermodynamic relations अन्य ये three properties should to दिखते हैं. वो कहते pressure, volume and temperature. So ये three properties should to प्रति मत entire thermodynamic processes अन्य माना we are going to discuss. So first of all, we have to know what is pressure, what is volume, what is temperature. So first of all, coming to pressure, what is pressure? So chala varku pressure and nothing but manmay man jatham. It is nothing but the force exerted per unit area in a closed space. That is nothing but pressure. Coming to volume, volume is nothing but the space occupied by any matter. So for example, if manu pressure, the space occupied by any matter. So for example, manu human body undi. So we are occupying some space. This is called as volume. So at the moment, volume is nothing but a three-dimensional space occupied by any body. Next, I am coming to temperature. Temperature is nothing but it is the degree of hotness or coldness of a body. And if a body is hot or cold, it will be used to 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 be used. So those are the small things that we have to know before going to the gas, basic gas laws. So coming to again, Boyle's law. The Boyle's law states that at constant temperature, pressure is inversely proportional to volume. That means, so if we have temperature constant, the pressure is inversely proportional. And then, if in case temperature constant, the pressure will increase, the volume will decrease. If the pressure will decrease, the volume will increase. So, same coming to Charles law. So, Charles law is the Charles law states that at constant pressure, the temper the volume is directly proportional to temperature and then when the pressure is the constant room to know so volume is nothing but directly proportional to temperature and then pressure constant and maintain just the volume increase at the temperature could at the same time increase open the oil volume decrease at the temperature could at the same time decrease open so next coming to gain lose at the so the name on china for the charlie second round will next point of so what does the Charles second law states are nothing but gain lose state means so at constant volume pressure is directly proportional to temperature and then when the volume constant the maintain just to know pressure and anything nothing but allowed to be directly proportional to temperature and then if in case pressure increases the temperature will be increased if the pressure decreases the temperature will be decreased so these three basic laws we use just to know thermodynamic processes and we discuss just to know so first coming to basic thermodynamic process. One we even have to talk number one isothermal process, isobaric process, isochoric process, polytropic process. And next, isentropic process. So first coming to isothermal process. So if you observe all iso, iso, iso. So iso means it is nothing but it is called as constant. What is the meaning of iso? Constant. Isothermal. Thermal means temperature. Baric means pressure coric means volume so what is isothermal uh, isothermal process nothing but the process which is having constant temperature that process is called as isothermal process isobaric process the, the process having constant pressure is called as isobaric and the process having constant volume is called as isochoric 
here it is entropy what is entropy entropy is indicated by s it is another property that we are going to discuss in the further classes entropy so these are the basic five processes that we are going to study and here we are getting poly poly means many so we are going to link up these three laws with these five thermodynamic processes and we are going to derive the relations between pressure volume and temperature again coming back to the basic laws so we already noted that pressure is inversely proportional to volume to remove this proportionality constants we are using one constant let it be c so we can rewrite this as p is equals to c into 1 by v that implies pv is equals to constant so man boils la anagare nothing but em gurthu raali pv is equals to constant this one relates to one state state ante man thermodynamic properties lo chadukune tappudu so exact point only we are going to discuss with about only one point then we can state it as pv is equals to c but if you are going to discuss about process so we can rewrite it as p1 v1 is equals to p2 v2 so this is the relation that we are going to get from the boils law similarly next come to charles law the charles law states that so v is directly proportional to t again here also for removing this proportionality we are using constant that it will be c so we can rewrite it as v is equals to c into t that implies v by t is equals to constant volume by temperature is equals to constant and again it is also for state that means we are going to give the properties at one point so if you want to go for the process we can be rewritten as v1 by t1 equal to v2 by t2 that implies v1 by v2 is equals to t1 by t2 so this is the basic relation of charles law with respect to process next coming to gay lussac law so the gay lussac law states as pressure is directly proportional to temperature again to remove this proportionality constant we are using constant c this can be written as p is equals to c into t that implies p by t is equals to constant that implies p1 by t1 is equals to p2 by t2 this can be rearranged as p1 by p2 is equals to t1 by t2 so this is the relation between gay lussac law in a process like between two points now we relate these three laws to our processes so here the coming to first one it is isothermal that means constant temperature process in three process which is a constant temperature process the boils law is our constant temperature process by relating those three so what the relation that we can take so how many relations that we have to take already we told that we have to take the relations between p v t pressure ki volume ki temperature ki relation already we are having one relation what is that relation so first pressure and volume relation the isothermal process what are the relations between pressure and volume it already given the relation between pressure and volume that is p1 v1 equal to p2 v2 as the temperature is constant there is no relation between temperature and pressure and temperature and volume next coming to isobaric process isobaric process is nothing but it is having constant pressure process so among these three we have charles law's constant pressure so if the pressure is constant what is the relation between volume and temperature v1 by v2 equal to t1 by t2 so there is no relation between pressure and volume why because the pressure is constant so there is no relation between pressure and temperature here also because the pressure is constant we are only having the relation between temperature and volume what is the relation v1 by v2 is equals to t1 by t2 or we can rewrite it as, as t1 by t2 is equals to v1 by v2 so that is our isobaric process next coming to isochoric process isochoric process is nothing but it is having constant volume process so what is constant volume process so the gay lussac law has in our constant volume process what does the gay lussac gives the uh, relation it gives a relation between pressure and temperature so there will be no relation between pressure and volume and temperature and volume why because the volume is constant so it is not going to be varied 
సో మనకు వాల్యూమ్ కాన్స్టెంట్ గా ఉండడం గోయింగ్ టు టేక్ ద రిలేషన్ బిట్వీన్ ప్రెజర్ అండ్ టెంపరేచర్ సో ఆల్్రెడీ వి గాట్ ద రిలేషన్ వాట్ ఇస్ దట్ సో p1 బై t2 ఇస్ ఈక్వల్స్ టు p1 బై p2 నెక్స్ట్ కమింగ్ టు ద రిమైనింగ్ టు లాస్ దోస్ ఆర్ పాలిట్రోపిక్ లా అండ్ ఐసెంట్రోపిక్ లా సో ఐసెంట్రోపిక్ లా ఈ సిమిలర్ టు ఐసో ఇట్ ఇస్ ఆల్సో గోయింగ్ టు రిలేట్ ఇట్ విత్ బాయిల్స్ లా దట్ ఇస్ నథింగ్ బట్ p1 v1 పవర్ గామా ఇస్ ఈక్వల్స్ టు p2 v2 పవర్ గామా సో ఇట్ ఇస్ ఎన్ ఐసెంట్రోపిక్ ప్రాసెస్ వి ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు గెట్ ఎన్ ఐసెంట్రోపిక్ ఇండెక్స్ so gamma is called as isentropic index and the fixed value of gamma is nothing but 1.4 we are going to relate pv relation for isentropic process p1 v1 power gamma is equals to p2 v2 power gamma here we are saying that it is similar to boyle's law but in this polytropic process not the temperature is constant what is constant i entropy is constant so the pressure volume and temperature the three terms are going to be changed so we already got the relation between pressure and volume so we need to get the relation between pressure and temperature and temperature and volume so how we are going to get those relations so first of all we know that the basic gas equation that is pv is equals to mrt pv is equals to mrt for state 1 that means if you are going to study one process if initial state is 1 and final state is 2 we are going to take the properties at 1 then we can rewrite it as p1 v1 equal to mr t1 similarly for process 2 we can rewrite as p2 v2 is equals to mr t2 so we know that already we know that p1 v1 power gamma is equals to p2 v2 power gamma we can rewrite as p1 by p2 is equals to v2 by v1 whole power gamma so by cross multiply so we can replace p1 by p2 as v2 by v1 whole power gamma So let it be equation one and let it be equation two. Divide equation one and two. So P1 V1 by P2 is equals to P2 V2 power gamma. So P1 V1 power gamma is equals to P2 V2 power gamma. So P1 V1 power gamma is equals to P2 V2 power gamma. So P1 V1 power gamma is equals to P2 V2 power gamma. So P1 V1 power gamma is equals to P2 V2 power gamma. So P1 V1 power gamma is equals to P2 V2 power gamma. So P1 V1 power gamma is equals to P2 V2 power gamma. So P1 V1 power gamma is equals to P2 V2 power gamma. So P1 V1 power gamma is equals to P2 V2 power gamma. So P1 V1 power gamma is equals to P2 V2 power gamma. So P1 V1 power gamma is equals to P2 V2 power gamma. So P1 V1 power gamma is equals to P2 V2 power gamma. So P1 V1 power gamma is equals to P2 V2 power gamma. So P1 V1 power gamma is equals to P2 V2 power gamma. So P1 V1 power gamma is equals to P2 V2 power gamma. So P1 V1 power gamma is equals to P2 V2 power gamma. So P1 V1 power gamma is equals to P2 V2 power gamma. So P1 V1 power gamma is equals to adiabatic process p1 by p2 equal to v2 by v1 whole power gamma just replacing the p1 by p2 that is v2 by v1 whole power gamma into v1 by v2 is equals to p1 by t2 so here it is v2 by v1 and here it is v1 by v2 if you reciprocate this we can get v2 by v1 whole power gamma into v2 by v1 whole power minus 1 if you reciprocate we can get the power as minus 1 that equal to p1 by p2 so we can write it as p1 by p2 is equals to so it is in the form of a to the power of m into a to the power of n a to the power of m plus n so v2 by v1 whole to the power of m gamma minus 1 so this is the relation between temperature and volume so in adiabatic process this is t1 by t2 is equals to v2 by v1 whole to the power of gamma minus 1 similarly if we are going to take the relation between pressure and temperature same process we have to do but we have to replace this v1 by v2 into p1 by p2 so if this is third equation resembles the v2 by v1 is equals to p1 by p2 whole to the power of 1 by gamma so this power will be shifted to left side so then we can get gamma as 1 by gamma so just replace the values p1 by p2 into so v1 by v2 here we are having v2 by v1 so v2 by v1 equal to p1 by p2 whole power gamma by ga, whole power 1 by gamma so just replace in this value so what we get v1 by v2 here we are having v2 by v1 so we have to take reciprocal so if we reciprocate it it will becomes p2 by p1 so just re rewrite it as into 1 by p1 by p2 whole power 1 by gamma is equals to t1 by t2 so if you get it into numerator what we are going to get p1 by p2 into whole power 1 by gamma can be written as p1 by p2 whole to the power of minus 1 by gamma that equal to t1 by t2 
so it is in the form of t1 by t2 can be written as it, it is in the form of a to the power of m into a to the power of n a to the power of m minus 1 p1 by p2 whole to the power of 1 minus 1 by gamma so if you take the lcm p1 by p2 whole to the power of gamma minus 1 by gamma so t1 by t2 is equals to gamma minus 1 by gamma so this is the relation between temperature and pressure so t1 by t2 is equals to p1 by p2 whole to the power of gamma minus 1 by gamma Similarly, if you go for the polytropic process, just we have to replace the adiabatic index with the polytropic index. That means, so gamma has to be replaced with n. So, what is the relation between nothing but pressure and volume? P1 V power n equal to P2 V2 power n. Similarly, the relation between here, T1 by T2 is equals to P1 by P2 whole to the power of n minus 1 by n. And here, T1 by T2 is equals to V2 by V1 whole to the power of N minus 1. These are the basic thermodynamic properties that we have to learn and these are the relations between pressure and volume.